My name is Derek Hicks, and I've been a member here at Lake Arlington just about all my life. And my wife, Kelsey, has been a member for about 12 years. And this past September, God began teaching us a lesson on provision. Well, in September, uh, Kelsey and I were looking at going from two incomes to one income. And um, the reality of that was really starting to hit hard. We had a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, and just unknowns of uh, Christmas was coming, the holidays were coming. We weren't sure how we were going to get through all that. And so we were discussing reducing our tithe as a, as a way to help uh, soften that. Um, from the tithe from both of our incomes to just the tithing my income since she was going to be losing her income. I had been a high school teacher for 10 years um, before I left. Before that, I had been entertaining doing something else. Um, that um, my degree wasn't in that and that I would really rather go in a different direction. I knew by October that I really did not want to return the next school year. So I started talking to Derek about that and we started praying about that and that God would open doors for me to, um, to go a different direction. Uh, in July of the summer after I turned in my resignation, Derek, due to necessities at his business, had to start driving a truck again and um, back and forth to Louisiana. He would be gone two to three times a week, sometimes overnight, and um, that left me at home to manage the kids in the house and, and anything else that would come up. There was no way that I would have been able to juggle all that and still have been working with that kind of a schedule as a teacher. And it allowed me to be able to take care of my family. God began to reveal to me, and I, I strongly felt in my heart that that was reducing our tithe was not the thing to, that God wanted us to do at that at that point. And so Malachi 3:10 kept coming up to me in my in the back of my head, in my heart, that God wanted us to bring the whole tithe to the to the house. And so me and Kelsey, after we didn't have to pray about that much. I knew that in my heart that, that God did not want us to, to reduce our tithes. So that's what we both agreed, that we weren't going to reduce our tithe. We we're going to keep tithing based on our, both of our incomes and that He will provide and He'll take care of the rest of it. Of course, you know, we were both a little nervous and hesitant and oh my gosh, we're going to lose the house and <laughs> well, not over our tithe, but that was that was a substantial amount and um, and we were concerned. But if God said to to leave it the way it was, then we were going to leave it the way it was. Well, at first, nothing changed. Uh, it was the same old uh, we uh, me and Kelsey were still praying for contracts. Um, praying for more clients and she was getting contracts and clients but every time she would get a contract something would happen fall through uh, so basically I can remember uh, one afternoon or one morning while I was on the road I was praying God we just need money in the bank I mean we don't need a contract I don't need a client we just need cash in the bank and at that point the very next afternoon uh, my mortgage I called and said that he had a VA loan that I was uh, uh, that was available to me and it was an interest rate reduction loan they call it Earl loan and it was a reef the refi was going to allow us to skip two mortgage payments which turned out to be November and December's mortgage and then it also got us all of our escrow back so in that whole transaction we ended up cash flowing over ten thousand dollars and that began the beginning of God's provision and Him showing us that He was going to provide and He was in control. And so we had all birthdays, Christmas, everything. And it was, we were doing just fine. We were doing great. And we were praising God every chance we got. And I told everybody that I could get my hands on that it's, it's a God thing. That's the, uh, we prayed about it and, and said, Dear Lord, please, and He has provided. 
I cannot imagine where our family would be financially, um, spiritually, if we had not relied upon God for His provision. I've learned that God is in control um, and that He will provide if we're just faithful to follow what He commands us to do.